Okay, so right now, I want all of you that are on tonight or who watching later, pull up your Facebook. And I know some of you are probably on your phone. Pull up your Facebook. I want you to do something. And I think this is going to be powerful for you to see. And what could truly change your business in a lot of ways? Okay, you probably have it up by now, if not pretty, pretty soon. Now I want you to look at the, at the first three to five posts that you see. And I want to know, are they Plexus people or are they friends and families and potentials? And then tell me, unmute and tell me what you see. Okay, for me, the first one's on my on my page. Um, the thing my niece just posted where she tagged me in it because it was her birthday on sun or birthday party on Sunday. So we're pictures with us. Mm -hmm. And then it's um, a post where you tagged me in where you shared my results. And then uh, the first three you said, right, was Julia's. Three, three to five. Yeah. Three to five. And then it's my post where I posted my results. Hmm. And then my video of my koi fish, my babies. Okay, now that is on your news feed. Oh on your news that feed on or on, don't go to your oh, page. My, oh, yeah. don't go to my page? Oh, yeah, go to your Never news feed, so right sorry. <laughs> yeah, go Those to your news feed, sorry. Okay, hold on, let me refresh it then. Okay, the first five, uh, yeah, three to five. A, a potential, um, not counting ads, right? Huh? Not counting ads, right? Okay, yeah, so don't count ads. Yes, yep. uh, a potential, a VIP, or a, a someone, um, I guess a potential, uh, a VIP that hasn't ordered in a long time, and a plexus person. Okay. Another potential that I've talked to before and was interested in and ghosted me after. And then a team page, a team page. Thing. Okay. All right, Shara, yeah. let's hear yours. I have a VIP. Um, she's not, she's not on my team. I'm not even sure if she still orders plexus. I know she does. She has been doing plexus, but I don't know who's team she's on. Um, church, another VIP, and I think it was another VIP actually. Okay, Cindy. Okay, I have a family member, a friend. Um, a new person, another family member, and then a potential. Okay, that is good. <laughs> All these are good. What I don't want you to see and what we are honestly tricking the algorithm to do more of is when we, when we get to our newsfeed and you're seeing Plexus, 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 Every time we are asking somebody to go comment on our post, Facebook is then going to put that person in your feed and you're going to see more of their stuff. So then it takes out all of those potentials, all of those customers, all of those friends, because we're all in, in and again, this is something I'm just learning a little bit more of. This is why I'm passing it down to you, is that every single time we do that, then we are taking away from other people that we could actually be involved with and gain from and move into. And so anytime that you see more than one Plexus post, when you're on your newsfeed, go unfollow them. You are going to help the, your algorithm more by unfollowing Plexus people and not commenting on everybody's posts. Because when you do, then all that person is going to see is your stuff. So for instance, if I go comment on like Patricia's like, hey, I posted, go comment, right? We all do it. Trust me, I get it. 
But every time Patricia asks for that, we all go there, then we're all going to see more Patricia's posts. So then we're missing that we're, we're literally eliminating one person from our feed every time we do that. So I challenge you, and I just did this before this call, I went and unfriended, not our team, but I went and unfriended several Plexus people that I don't, I love them, don't get me wrong, but I'm missing more opportunities for in like friends, family, and potentials when I do. And so I challenge you to do that. I challenge you to go unfriend a lot of people. And then anytime that you really need um, somebody to comment on something, I would, I would challenge you not to. And here's why. When people, and this, my husband just said this the other day, and I really thought about it. He's like, you can tell when it's, when it's fake because you have all your plexus people comment on it. And it's like, oh, great job. Or, you know, oh, that looks amazing or whatever. And he, you know, and Jen Viev even said it tonight. It's super inauthentic. When you actually have potentials commenting or you having, you're having them interact, like let's say um, I make a post and we're going to be changing up some things. This is why I said you guys are going to want to get on. And if you have to rewatch this, that's okay. Um, because there's going to be a lot of good tips and tricks for you to do with posting. When you're posting, you want to ask a question because then those people are going to comment. They're going to engage and all of that. If we engage with your stuff, then of course, Facebook's going to think we want to see more of Shara and Cindy and, and Hannah and Patricia and things like that. Then we're losing out on those possibilities. So let's say I post um, and I don't have you guys comment, then more of my potentials are going to see my stuff. And it could be more of um, something like, I, hang on, I just wrote that, some stuff down that was um, things that you could ask like, um, I mean, it could be anything you guys like, be sure to interact with this post if you love it or ask questions of like, what do you guys want to hear more of? Do you like the science part that I share? Do you like more of the testimonies that I share? Things like that. Like when, when you're sharing that, you're getting a gauge for your audience. Cause right now your gauge is Plexus people. And that was a huge eyes eye opener for me is like, I'm getting all of my Plexus people to comment and share and love and post on my stuff that I have no idea what my potentials or what my family or what any of them are actually enjoying or liking because every single person on our team and everywhere else is commenting and loving on my stuff. Right. So I know it's going to take a while. I've been doing that way for six and a half years, you guys. So I know it's going to be different and change for a lot of us, but there was somebody on our call today and this girl has added 15 people this month by doing just this thing. 15. She unfollowed a lot of Plexus people. She wasn't commenting on Plexus people anymore. The last thing that she did, she got on the phone with them. You guys, I have been hearing for years, get on the phone with your potentials. Do I do it every single time? No, because I feel like I'm too busy or I've got all this stuff going on. There's no way that I can take five minutes to do this. And she's like, you guys, you hear it all the time. Why aren't you doing it? The, the, the secret sauce to your business is actually connecting with people, not just here's my link, go ahead, grab it. You know, here's a code, here's Sam 2020, blah, 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 go for it. It is more of connecting with those people, figuring out their why so that when they want to stop, you can be like, whoa, 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 wait, Shara, you told me on the phone last month that your goals were X, Y, Z. Did those change? I want to make sure that we're still on the right page because if those changed, you know, that is okay. I just want to make sure that we're on the right page still. When you're connecting with them on the phone, that's what makes the difference. And so this person, she is also emotionally engaging on her posts. That means, for instance, she shared about the reset and she said, shared how like most people are probably thinking you're going to gain it all back. And let me tell you, I went to the grocery store today. And if anybody knows me, I would have grabbed a Doritos and a Coke. And my mindset has changed so much that I grabbed an apple at checkout. That is connecting. That is, I mean, we could share everybody else's testimony all day long, but aren't your people wanting to hear your stories and what is happening with you and what you're loving about your journey? So think about that. And again, those testimonies and, and sharing those testimonies from other people are great. We can share each other's testimonies, but remember people want to see you and what's, what, what these products and what this reset is doing for you. And that mental mind shift and that emotional connection of, of I can guarantee other people were probably at the gas station thinking the same thing when she posted that, like, oh, 
I used to, you know, I grab a candy bar every now and then, you know, would this help me? Would this help me in my mind shift of, of not thinking about grabbing a soda or grabbing X, Y, Z, if it's helped Cheryl or whatever her name was, then maybe it'll help me connect on an emotional level when you post. And that's what that looks like. That's all that shift is, is what can, what has these products done for you emotionally? I'm going to share Jen I've talked about a stapler and she actually posted, she said it was on Instagram today and how, if she had to sell a stapler, this is what she would do. Let me find it. Okay. If I were selling staplers right now, the emotional connection of selling a stapler is you can find your papers all the time. It is so freeing to know that where all of your stuff is, you feel so organized that it feels great to be organized when your papers are actually all exactly where they need to be and where you expect them to be. Um, she's like, you could go out on a windy day with the confidence because your papers won't blow away um, all over the place. She said, um, there's, there's so, such, so much good organizing for your junk drawer. Um, you can group things together and it's uh, so much fun, you know, um, doing all of that. And then she said, if you were actually selling a stapler, I might show, a, show you a big pile of papers on the floor so, and go, you know, like this is what I use so that I'm not having stuff all, all around me. So think of that, like, um, and it gave me a visual of she's like, you know, if I have all these stacks of papers, like I have everybody's roadmaps, if I have all these stacks of papers and I'm trying to sell a stapler, what would that look like? It's like, you know what? Back then, these would have been all over the place and my desk would have, well, here we go. My desk would have looked an organized, unorganized mess. But I'm glad that I have this handy stapler now, right? It's like super simple. You're literally connecting what somebody is suffering with or what somebody is having issues with that you could help them with. So remember that you're connecting with your posts, connecting. When you, when you don't have that connection, people are not, they're going to scroll. They're going to scroll right by because you're not, you're not finding what can help them. Okay. Um, and remember when we're commenting on people's pe people are watching the comments, whether they comment or not, and they're seeing hun how unauthentic some some might be and again i have done this i have so done this where i'm like oh and all of us have done this where we're like the magic post you know i'm in tell me more what da, da, da. and then they go see that we're a plexus person they're like see i knew it was a scam i knew this was blah 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 and i it was just it was so good hearing from jen via the little tweaks that we can make that can really make an impact on the people watching us so make sure that you're doing those little tweaks from now on um okay and then make sure every time you go back, if you're keep seeing Plexus people and whatnot, hit, you don't have to unfriend them, you guys. You do not have to unfriend them. You go and you click friends and you click unfollow. That way you're not getting them in your feed. You can still stay connected to them, but they're not all right there every single time. Um, you're gonna trick the algorithm by not commenting on so many other people people's Plexus posts. Okay, do y'all have questions on that before I move forward? I don't have a question, but it's just hearing you talk about it. So there's, there is a lady that used to be under me in Implexus and she's with another company now. And it, one of the things that annoys me is how her upline and teammates comment on her posts. But why I never saw it as annoying to me and my friends, you all doing it. I don't know why I didn't see that's the same thing in reverse. So just someone else seeing some other person's product and how it's almost like I roll. I don't, and I'm a nice person, but this sounds terrible to me, but it's almost like, oh, there, I knew that one was going to come. I knew uh -huh. that one was, but mm -hmm. why did I not ever think for us? I don't know. So it's good for me to hear it. Mm -hmm. I, and um, the unfollowing trick is a good trick also, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's a two way road. So if you're annoyed about someone else's product and you know, the three, the three people are going to comment religiously on theirs, mm -hmm. same difference. Yep. And that was what was eye opening for me. And I will tell you just an hour ago, I started unfollowing people and I'm getting people in my feed that I haven't seen in months now, months. So it's instant. It's almost instantaneously that pretty much when I'm removing people, Facebook is plugging more people in. And it's not that I'm you know, removing them, it's more, I'm unfollowing them because I want my, I want the people, if I'm interacting on 
Sarah Sue's stuff. I want her to see my stuff. And the only way to do that is for me to find her stuff, interact with it and start commenting and things. So yeah, I think the same thing. And so think just like Hannah, think about when you're seeing other people sell stuff, you know, you probably unfollowed them or think of what they're doing that makes you eye roll so that you're not doing the same or you're not following in those same footprints and same steps. Um, another thing that I thought of was, and I unfollowed somebody today that's selling something else that friended me and I didn't, um, I, I, you know, sometimes you can kind of see um, their past posts. I didn't see anything like nothing, nothing publicly about what this person sells. The moment I hit friend, like, sure, let's just, you know, maybe Susie has something that, you know, I need to hear or whatever. Um, constant, constant. Right. And I was like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? And then all of her posts had at least 20 comments of all of her like testimonials and what her stuff can do and blah, blah, blah. I, I rolled Hannah. I was like, whatever. We know that that's fake. That's not a great, whatever. Right. I was like, here I go. And here I am the one putting 20 comments in my post too. Right. So, um, and I'm not saying you don't have to do that. I'm just saying, start being a little bit more, um, reminded of what you're doing because other people are watching and it doesn't mean that you can't reverse and do something different. Now people are going to see the shift in you when you do, when you start changing those little tweaks. Um, okay. Any other questions on that? There's going to be a lot more um, tips and stuff on that next week. So make sure you come on next week too. Any other questions? Okay. Next thing is if I, if I asked you, if you had your roadmap and you knew exactly where you were going and who was going with you, would you have those names handy and ready? If you do, and if you don't, that's okay. The thing that you can change is be responsible for your business and really write down those people because the only way you're going to hit your next rank is to vision cast and vision cast for those people. And that means you have a brand new person that comes on and you ask them to share a post, right? But if you're not visiting, they're always gonna be a one-time one poster if you do that, I'm just gonna be honest. If you're asking somebody to post and you're not vision casting with them and vision casting means like, um, hey, Sarah, I just wanted to talk to you. What would it look like if, if you were able to stay at home with your babies? Or what would it look like if um, you could have extra money in your account right now to be able to pay for your kids' clothes, whatever, right? Vision cast. And you're, you're getting that emotional attachment with their goals and their whys they don't even know about yet, right? And so when you're talking with them, you're really going to tweak and work on those things of like, okay, well, you know, the way, if, if you're open to it, I would love to help and I can help you with that. And if you're open, I, let's go ahead and create a post. Let's get an event and let's just see where this goes. And I will coach you the whole way. Vision cast with your people. If you do not vision cast, this is just like the Bible verse, things perish, right? Everything's perish, everything perishes if you don't have a vision or a why or what you're doing this for. You know, and, and I will tell you, Satan will can take control of those minds and those thoughts if you don't have a why, if you don't have a plan. And if you don't, and people are like, well, you know your why. It's true. If you don't know the reason and why you're doing this, then anytime Satan tries to attack you and tries to come at you, then he's going to win and he's going to take over and he's going to make sure all of your people that are sharing and they might have some fire going underneath monkey see monkey do. So that means if you are skeptical or you're like feeling doubtful or feeling discouraged or whatever, monkey see monkey do. And so know that your team, your, everybody is seeing that and they're going to see exactly where you're at, and it's okay, we've all had those, like, don't feel bad about that. I have been discouraged. I can't tell you how many times in my business. Get yourself back up. Find what that looks like. You know, listen to podcasts, listen to team calls, do whatever, because you should have a roadmap, every single one of you, of who you're helping go silver. That you just, I mean, it, I don't care if you signed one person last month. Are you helping them go silver? You know, write them down. Are you helping them go gold? Because every single person on here should have a roadmap for your team and where, who, who you're taking to gold school. Gold school is going to be coming up in October. Do you know who's going with you? Do you know you're going? Who are you going to take with you? Think about that and think about who's going to be there because that sh this should be on your radar for sure. 
Um, Cindy, I have somebody skeptical that I don't listen. I have someone that is so skeptical that I don't listen to them anymore. Exactly. You, any, I will tell you those skeptical, there's skeptic people. I was one of them. My husband was one of them. And we followed and watched for a long time, years and years and years. Skeptics can turn into believers if they have a dream and a vision casted to them. I was so skeptical, but I went to Super Saturday because my person invited me and I was able to see a broader picture of what this could do for our family. And that is why I'm here today. So know that skeptical people, you don't have to follow them. You can love on them and tap on them if you want to. And if you truly believe in them, because they could possibly come around and become believers. Um, okay. So gold school in October, this is strategic, you guys. So every quarter there is gold school. Gold school is powerful. They just did it in Michigan. If you didn't go to Gen VF stories or watch on the Plexus Academy page, go look, they feed you, they wine and dine you, and they give you all the training that you need with you and like, let's say it's, it's you and the person that you got to go gold. So if you're the sponsor, you get your gold, you get to go with them. The next one is in October. So really start planning, like, who are you going to take and who's going to be with you in October? Don't feel that you can't do that because we all know that is Satan. And that is not anything else. I, I have the recipe. I have everything that you need to do. And we'll go into that later that can get you there. You just have to follow the recipe and not be like, well, I don't know if I like um, the eggs and that I think I'm going to do it a different way. Okay. Do it a different way, but I have a recipe that works and we're going to share that here in a little bit. Um, okay. And then the next thing is Ruby's on the rise, Ruby's on the rise. Once you go to gold school, you should know exactly where you're going to be going that next step. And that's going to be Ruby's on the rise. That's every six months. And that's at corporate it's in Arizona and you get to go Ruby's on the rise is an amazing training. And you're going to see one-on-one -on -one corporate our you know, president, CEO, everything. Oh, look at that puppy Shara. I just want to love on it. Okay. Um, okay. Next thing. If you, we talked about discouragement and stuff. I want you to really sit down, figure out a plan and take responsibility of your own business. I can coach you all day long. I can encourage you. I can do everything that you need, but I can't make you do anything. I can't make you do our winning day or make you do a post every single day. You are responsible for your business. You are the CEO for your business. So what is that going to look like for you? Create a calendar, create a system, create whatever that looks like and pay attention to those things so that you can create that and then trickle that down to your team so they know exactly what to do. Um, oh, I want to go back to this. Um, when you're asking people to share and you're not casting a vision, you, I will tell you, there's going to be different buckets for people and that is okay. All of you guys are runners. You guys are wanting the business. You are on team calls almost every single time. You are in a different bucket than somebody that is just starting out and sharing one time. So know that difference. Know that you can't make fire underneath somebody that is just a one-time sharer. You can get, get it smoldering and get it going and moving on up but they're not at the pace that you are and you can get them there. You guys are just in a different bracket. You guys are the runners. You are showing up. You're on all the team calls or on corporate calls and you're trying to dive in and figure out how you can move and group to your next goal, to your next rank. Um, so that's a different bucket. So now you're going to, in your business, you're going to have several buckets and people are going to grow, go into different buckets all the time. And some are going to go out of buckets because we're all in different seasons. Some is going to have family and health issues and they're going to go in a different bucket. Some is going to have where they're in overwhelm and they need to take a moment. Some is going to be like, no girl, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to move and run. What do I need to do? People are going to move and groove. You just have to be there to keep being there for them and keep showing up. Um, because you guys are the runners. You're not the casual people. You are the sharers, the doers, the runners, the movers, um, because you want a steady income. You want that steady pace to keep growing, not keep like bellowing, moving down, whatever the word is. Um, da -da -da. There's something else I wanted to share. Okay, do y'all have any questions really quick? And then I'm gonna talk about the cake recipe. Okay, cake recipe. I know a lot of you are probably like, um, or did somebody have a question? Go ahead, Patricia. Was it you? Okay. I think you're muted. 
You're talking, but you're muted. I'm going to type it. Oh, okay. Type away, girl. Okay. So if you were like me, when I first started this, I did not have a lot of people telling me what to do, what I could do to grow my business, what it looked like to build a cake. We all know our grannies have a cake recipe. Our friends have certain recipes, things like that, right? You're going to have recipes all around you, but which recipe actually works and shows um, growth and is tasty and, and works, right? Okay. So a cake recipe, I want you to think of this and I'm going to, I'm going to read this because I had to write this down because the girl that added 15 people shared these words. She said, cake, um, you can have all seven, you have seven ingredients and you need to go to that. You need to go into the cake. You don't, but you don't want to do the eggs. You're like, ah, I'm going to skip the eggs this time. It's just not going to be, you know, maybe I want to try something different with this cake. Um, she's like, that cake is going to be different in the end for you than other people or other things. Um, if you want to do it twice as fast, you double the recipe. If you don't have that much time, you quarter the recipe. Um, if you are not going to do this winning day, so our winning day is a sheet. It is incredible. It literally gives you every single piece and ingredient that you need to grow this business. If you are a runner, if you're in that bucket, um, that is going to get you the results. And if you aren't seeing the results, then we might need to tweak. What is your winning day looking like? And maybe it is inauthentic. Maybe it is not following and doing the correct things. We're going to be talking about that next week. So we're going to work on, um, those little tweaks, um, for your winning day, but I'll, I'll just, let me see. Okay. She didn't say anything else on the cake recipe. Okay. Um, so think of that, think of your granny's cake. And you're like, well, I'm going to tweak like my granny. If I try to tweak my granny's cake, I know it's not going to be near as good as what it is if I would have left it the same and followed her recipe that she's had for 40 plus years. So the cake recipe, if you guys want to grow every single month and soon it's going to be a little bit more of a commitment of a 60 day push. But if you want the ingredients to truly grow your business, it is doing something called the winning day. It is a recipe that I've been doing. It's every 90 days with Gen Viev, Like, and if we don't do it, we are kicked out. If we do not add three people a month, we are kicked out. Like it's that intense. But I will tell you when it's that intense for me, I'm showing up. I'm on every single, I'm on every call. I have to have my camera on or I get like called out, like stuff like that. But I want to know if you are pushed and if somebody tells you exactly what you need to hear, wouldn't you show up and wouldn't you be doing the things that you feel like you need to do and need to get accomplished to your goals? Like Genevieve knows my goals and she, she tells them like, well, Cassie, did something change? Like what's going on? You know, why aren't you showing up to the calls? Why, why aren't you blah, blah, blah. She's, it's not that she's being mean or being hateful or whatever. She's reminding me of the things that I told her in the beginning, the things that I told her that I wanted to be able to get my husband out of this horrible job that he's dealing with right now and being able to have him do whatever he wants. She's reminding me of those things continually so that the days that I don't want to show up and do the recipe, then I, she's right there in my face reminding me why I'm doing this. And again, we're all going to have seasons of buckets where we have to take a break and that is okay. Or we have to back off for a second and say, you know what? I'm just not there for the moment, but I will be back. I will be and do that recipe to the T that I know that it needs to be blah, blah, blah. Okay. Do y'all understand? Does that make sense? Um, glad you're sticking to the one day you said a while back, we are sticking to it and not zigzagging around. Yes. So back then, and Hannah's been with me the longest on here, and she can tell you, I have definitely grown in a tremendous way with Genevieve. And it is, it's really been the solid leadership that I've needed. Not that I haven't gotten it completely. It's been that, um, you know, I, I, my leaders above me haven't been able to really pour into me as much as what I'm getting now. And so I was always grabbing and grabbing different recipes from different people and going, well, Sarah's doing this. Maybe I can make this cake better or Hey, Hannah's doing this. And maybe I can do this better. This, this works. This girl added 15 people this month because the winning day works. And so if you guys are wanting to run and hit the goals that you told us at the beginning of the month, like I can tell you senior gold, 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 Ruby, the only way you're going to have that happen is to do the winning day with us to actually like, you know what, Cassie, for the next 
uh, 11 days, I'll do the winning day with you. And then you just decide and determine if next month, if you're still in it, great. If it's too much for you, that's okay. It's just something, it's the daily habits that's gonna get you to the next goal and the next rank. I will also tell you, this girl that I said added 15 people last month or this month, this month works full time and has a lot of kids. So just know if she can get the winning day done in the time that she has, the very minimal time she has, every single person can do that cake and make it taste good. And you get the same results that this person has. If you don't know what the winning day is, I will post it in our group. It's actually super simple. The more that you do it, I, I feel like I nonchalantly, I'm like, oh, I actually did all that today. You get to where you do it and it's like nothing anymore. It's like, oh, I've already followed hashtags and I'm already connecting authentically with those people and more than just awesome. And again, I used to do all of that. I'm like, oh, this looks great. I'm actually really connecting with those people, writing them, um, sharing great content with them, whatever it looks like. You want to create authentic relationship with, with people. That's what this looks like. Um, and when you follow hashtags and whatnot, that's what that looks like. Um, oh, oh, and stories. Genevieve has talked about stories. She's like, if you don't have a lot of people following in your stories, she's like, it's probably because you're boring. And I was like, oh, okay. But I, I'm, I need somebody like Genevieve at me all the time. I want somebody to tell me like it is. I don't want somebody to sugarcoat and encourage me all day long because we all know I can be a great encourager for every single one of you. But if I'm not gonna give you the results that you're looking for and, and maybe touch on your toes, then you're gonna stay at the spot that you're at for forever because you're not gonna grow, right? Okay, so when she's like, you're probably boring. She's like, are you asking questions? Are you saying, hey, do you like purple or blue? Do you like flowers or not? Do you, you know, just con constantly asking questions and engaging where it's not just plexus stuff. Like what emotional attachment can I say to this? Like, oh man, I'm actually, I'm late at night taking an active so that I can pour into other people and be, you know, the mom that I know my kids need right now, right? How many moms know that they wish at this time at night, they could still tuck their kids to bed, but they're already in bed because they're struggling or whatever that looks like. Do emotional attachments in your stories, but ask tons of questions in there too. Stories are a great way for your, because your followers are already following you, right? They're already, if they're in your stories, it's because they like you. You know, most people, they're going to, their, their first swipe is whether they're going to stay or go make short ones. I'm really one to talk too long on my stories. I'm going to try to get better at that, but make short stories that are like a call to action of like, you want to know what makes the reset work so great. Here's why, you know, or like you're, you're, it's a, it's a, um, like a pitch. You're, you're pitching something very quickly. Not like, Hey guys. And again, I've done this y'all. I'm just learning. But she's like, you know, don't do like, hey guys, how's your Monday? I hope yours is great. It's hot, isn't it? Blah, blah, blah. And then you get into your story. And I'm like, oh, great. I've been doing that for six plus years. Um, so I'm learning and it's okay because I'm telling you so that you can grow faster than me and it won't take you six and a half years to get to Emerald and then continue to grow. You're going to be Emerald by next year because you're doing the things that I'm telling you to do right now um, and continually to grow every time I learn something new. Um, let me, okay, I already talked about emotional. Um, oh, and she said another thing. Oh man, and I think I've already talked about this. She said, I encourage you to not repost other people's stuff. And I'm gonna say that again. She said, I encourage you not to post other people's stuff. You guys, I know we all do it. I get it. Like, I totally get it. But your audience is going to see that, that that's not you. That's not, and, and again, don't feel like, well, crap, Cassie, I don't know what to do now. Yes, you do. Be real, be you, be like the same thing I just said. If you have an active in your hand, what can, what story can you tell with active that it's helped you or your friends? You can still tell your story's friends or your friend's stories, just make it authentically you. Um, and again, you can share some stuff. Don't get me wrong. Like I shared, you know, I got the, the science of the reset, that kind of stuff I feel is, is still resharable. Like you can share those kinds of things, but don't share all the time because you have nothing to post really make time to sit down and get, get little nitty gritty stuff down. You know, for instance, long time ago, we did something called the pillars and maybe it's time to do that again of like, okay, what makes Cindy, Cindy, you know, okay, Cindy. 
you have an awesome husband. He makes us all laugh, whatever, right? You've been married to him for so long. You pastor a church, blah, blah, blah. Okay. On Monday, it's motivation Monday. What can you share a scripture on Monday or a motivational post that maybe all of us Christians need to hear on Tuesday? Maybe it's a testimony of like what these products have done for you on Tuesday. On Wednesday, maybe it's a science post of a wellness of like, hey, did you know that 90% of your serotonin level lives in your gut? Man, I didn't know that. On Thursday, maybe it's a tip that you've learned of how to make a food or, you know, if you love to cook, maybe you're sharing something because every single one doesn't have to be plexus. And so Thursday can be a tip, you know, a tip that you're sharing. Friday can be a fun Friday. You know, it's out with the family or um, like right now, how the summer is, maybe you're sharing a fun trick for people to, um, I don't know, just fun Friday and um, Saturday. I usually try to do Friday and Saturday, are always like family stuff. I try, um, or maybe like fun fact, late night owl, fun fact thing where I share a tip that late that night. Cause I feel like most of my people are up as late as I am. Um, and then Sunday, I really try to dive in for me. It's, it's sermons. You know, I was like, Hey, this sermon really stood out to me today. This is what I gained X, Y, Z. You figure out what your days look like so that the days that you're like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to post. I don't know what to do right now. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab Patricia's stuff really quick. And I'm just going to go repost that. Just take five minutes and sit down and be like, you know what? No. Okay. It's Wednesday. Maybe I can do something with wellness today, or maybe I can do something with, I mean, rhyme it, right? Like figure out. Um, but just schedule your days like that. So, you know, when you're stuck, you can figure out what to post. Um, okay. Soak on that for a second. My dogs are tearing up my door. Let me go let them in. Okay. Is any of this helpful? Am I touching on some toes tonight? Okay. I'm sorry, but I want you to grow and, and every single person. And I still want you to do this. If you haven't done this, we did this at the beginning of the call before I even started hitting record is if you could, if you could not fail, if you knew you could not fail in the life in plexus, anything, take plexus out of it. If you knew you could not fail, what were your dreams and your goals and life look like? What would, what would that look like? And then say it out loud. Like you can type it and several of you guys did. And I love them. I have not responded because not everybody has posted theirs yet. So I'm trying to get a lot of you to share in that. I'm in share in that thread. And so keep sharing it, tag your teammates because you need to know why they're doing this too, because their dreams are bigger than Plexus. Plexus is the vehicle for it. But that's all like Plexus is the vehicle for those dreams and those goals. Like Cher wants to be able to help people without having to worry about finances. You know, I want to be able to have land and travel in the winters with my kids and, you know, Jason and not have to freeze in the winters. Like just there's all kinds of little things that we all want in life and dreams. What does that look like for you? And write that down, but also say it out loud. So I had a coaching call today and she encouraged me to say it out loud. And I will tell you that was much more impactful than me writing it out to her or, you know, her asking me and not respond. And I just didn't respond. She's like, no, no, Cassie, I actually want you to tell me what that is. I'm like, oh, okay. So really think about that and why you're doing this. And remember when you start having runners, like if you're a silver you have people working underneath you or have shared or are loving these products. Cast that vision for them because you're a leader now. I don't care if you have one person, you're a leader now. And you might not like that phrase or what that looks like. I didn't either, but God led you into this position for a reason. Take hold of that and know that he wouldn't have put this in your hands if it wasn't the vehicle for those dreams. Say that again. He would have not put this in your hands if it wasn't the vehicle for your dreams. Your dreams is the V like, this is it for you. This could be it. Are you excited and, and determined every single day and not needing me or somebody else to encourage you to get your daily habits in, to get the recipe done, to get the cake it started and put it in the oven and all those little daily things. Like, are you that motivated to not need somebody else to motivate you? Oh, yes, Hannah. 
Can I just say, if for those of you that might be on this call and not feeling that motivated right now, but you still do the work, but it's kind of in a season because I was there for a while and it's so it, I just want to encourage you and um, keep pushing through because you never know when you're going to get someone like, like Shara, right? Shara was ready to quit the products, ready to quit everything, but she stuck it out and it brings life to you. And like, you never know, like Shara, Patricia, Brianna, I'm trying to say everybody's name, Cindy, when God, that next post or that me next message that God has sends you another runner or, or a runner, maybe you've never even had one and you're doing all the things and you've got to the rank where you are. And I'm getting God bumps. I'm just telling you, keep doing what you're doing. And it brings that breath of fresh air. Um, that excitement is so contagious when God brings those people to you. And so there was a season before Shara came on that I was like, okay, I don't know, like, whew, this is hard and rough. And then there was a season with Shara doing her stuff and everything, but then an, another one fell off. I'm like, oh, I have two. And then one fell off. And I'm like, yeah, I got Shara. And then it's like, okay. And then God sent another one. And so just know if you're sitting there listening to her and you're like, yeah, I felt it once, but I'm not feeling it right now. Literally in one conversation, one person catching the vision and being excited really, really can just change your outlook. Cause like this time last year, I just, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew the goals. I knew God put plexus in my life that this was, this was the tool he was going to use to help reach those goals. But I was just kind of, well, you know, just kind of tired and, and whatever. And then a diff, what a difference a year makes actually even like a couple months make. So just my encouragement is keep doing what you can when you can and be ready. Cause when God sends that runner to you, um, it's just going to light, light up, put a little light on your piney and it's going to be exciting and refreshing. So hang on in the dry seasons because the harvest is coming. Oh, Hannah, such good words, because I will tell you every single person on here, even if you're brand new has had a dry season already, and you're already questioning and doubting and having discouragement of like, you know, I've been doing this for so long, or I've done this for a month and nobody's commented or come to me or whatever. Just, but just like Hannah said, if you stick with it and do the ingredients and keep showing up even as little or as big as you can, you could be empowering somebody else with your vision to see their greater future, to see their greater dreams, to see something bigger that they have, that God has for them. And you could truly be one person away from ranking up or, or going and, and going crazy, right? You just have to keep showing up for that one person, that one. I mean, think of it like the 99 sheep, right? Like he, you know, Jesus left for the one he left for the one. Go ahead, Hannah. I was exactly that. And so, yes, if you're like me and you get more out of um, helping others than necessarily where you are, like getting to help someone meet their goal and be excited about it, it just fills your cup like like no other. And so, yeah, that 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 one, you know, the one could be yes me or I'm gonna see who's at my house at this time of night or just you know the the person you get to help like when share was. Like, it's just, oh, I just love it. I love it. So, okay, I'm going to mute, but hopefully no one's here to like murder me. It's fine. <laughs> Hannah, don't speak those words. Come on now. Uh, hopefully someone's going to give me a million dollars. There you so, go. <laughs> oh, okay. I get a phone call. I'll be back. Bye, Lily. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep us posted. Okay. She's getting a million dollars. It's those, you know, the, the, people publisher whatever come into her house right Ed McMahon, uh, huh ed mcmahon yes is he exactly he's like nook, nook, nook. you didn't know but guess what you won a million dollars blah 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 and all the confetti and everything okay um but so so true and if you're a helper you know like all of us have different personalities and you might be goal driven. You might be helper driven. You might be, um, science driven. Like there's, there's, we all have different gifts and different, um, vehicles. It, all you need is the cake or the gas to get that vehicle moving. And I'm telling you that winning day. And if you want, want in on it, I highly recommend you guys doing it. Um, I'm going to be doing it monthly. 
And then I'm going to make it a really strong commitment of a 60 days, but I'm going to encourage my people that are in my winning day right now to trickle that down to your people. So let's say, you know, Cindy, you want to do it. Well, I'm going to encourage Julia to do that with you. And so let, let's say Hannah, Hannah has, you know, but somebody side besides Cher, because Cher is already, she's grandfathered in. Um, but let's say Hannah has somebody else and they're ready to do it. I'm going to encourage Hannah to do the winning day with them. Because again, I can't keep, you guys have to put, put be in the leader position too, and share that cake recipe with your teams. Um, so we're going to be doing that and we're going to be doing it monthly. And then I'm going to get a 60 day commitment for um, the ones that are ready and wanting to do it. And so know that that's in the works. Um, but we have it right now, 11 more days. And if you guys want to hit those goals that you said that you wanted at the beginning of the month, we're here, we're ready. We can, I can share that recipe and you can have 15, like, don't ever doubt. You cannot have 15 people join you this month. It can happen. It really could. Um, just stick with it and stick with those goals. Um, okay. Next Tuesday, either Hannah, Shara, or double, they're going to be doing team call. I might pipe up, pop on, um, if, if I can, but it's my daughter's birthday and I really want to, it'll be, she'll be 12. And so I really want to take off that day um, because I feel like she always sees mommy, you know, working in the evenings and stuff like that. So I really want to take that full day off just for her and really take care of my dogs. I don't know. They're eating each other right now. It sounds like, but they're fine. Um, okay. And then I forgot what else there's, I mean, there's a couple other things. And if I forget, I'll look at all this. Now. I mean, I had a ton of notes from that call. Um, and so if there's something else that stands out or if you're like, Cassie, but what about this, you know, and you know, what do I do with three-way chats are still a good thing. Don't, don't, don't get discouraged about that. Like three-way chats are a must. Let's say, you know, Patricia, you have somebody brand new, put me in a three-way chat. That does not mess with the algorithm, right? That doesn't mess with anything. You still do that. But like, let's say we're in our chats and we're like, Hey, I posted, I'm going to encourage all of us, all of us, and including myself not to go comment. Because then you're going to be able to have somebody else see your stuff. So know that that's going to be changing in our chats. Know that if you need us to help you with, you know, like if you're like, okay, this person said this, we can help you with that. And we can help you with responding and we can help you. With, that's, that's totally, totally different. Um, but we're going to be changing up our Facebook algorithm. So hopefully in the next few days, people are seeing your reset stuff or your um, testimonies, your emotional posts that are going to connect them to why they have to do this. Um, and make sure if you're not doing this already, telling people happy birthday. I told, okay, dogs, come on now. I told somebody happy birthday, ju just said, Hey, happy birthday. I hope you had a blessed day. And it was great. And she's like, thanks. Okay. Tell me about this reset. I, you know, I'm going to nibble. Tell me a little bit. And I'm like, Hmm. All right. I'll tell you a little bit. And so I'm waiting for her to comment back. I'll check back in, but I'm not going to be like doo, 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 and hounding her. Right. Um, you know, you're making sure you're connecting like, well, what, what encouraged you with the three day? What are you looking for? You know, what does that look like for you? Yeah. Three day chat. You're seeing great results and all the pictures and stuff that we're posting, but why do you want it? you know, really connect with that. And I'm going to, she's my neighbor. So I might even go down there or go call her and try to get better at that. Um, because I can tell you, Cassie Howard is not a great phone caller. All -er -er -er. I need to get better. I am one. I would much rather, and, and Genevieve said it, it, it's totally fine that you can you voice message, but texting and phone calling is better. So I, Cassie, am going to try to get better at phone calls and, and voice messaging. I, mean, I normally do voice messages, but I'm going to try to do phone calls. So really make that commitment and figure out what can you grow or do better at this month in the next few days and whatever we have for the, the rest of the remainder. But, um, okay, you'll have any questions about emotional posting or how things are going to change up or any of that right now. Hannah did not get murdered. Yay. <laughs> good um okay i did have a uh, question earlier and it was um for gold school let's say your sponsor doesn't work or whatever it still goes to the sp so that sponsor what like for instance if i earn gold school my sponsor that doesn't doesn't do anything love her doesn't do anything she would still be she would be the one going if she wanted to go um i know that they are trying to find a way. So know that that's still in the works of like you being able to pick, but it's really trying to encourage and congratulate the sponsor, even though it's some, sometimes there's instances like mine 
Um, they're really trying to encourage that the sponsor is or or share several several people on here. Don't worry, um, you're not alone. But um, that's kind of where that that they're leading to. But know that I'm kind of with Gen VF that I might be able to tweak something. I don't know. I can't guarantee you anything, but it's worth a try. So the goal is you earning gold school. You don't have to bring your sponsor. They don't have to come, but you earning gold school and you bringing somebody down, like you earning it and then you having your next person earn it. That's how you do it. Okay, any other questions? Okay, um, break. And then I wanna hear um, your dreams and your why, like your, your, if you could not fail, if you have not posted that, post it in our builder chat. And keep our builder chat super positive. So for instance, if you can't come to a team call, don't shout it on the team on the team thread, right? Because when you do that, it's telling everybody else they can skip out to you. Or, hey, yeah, I actually have this on too, right? If you can't make something, message me privately or message your sponsor privately because we want to keep our chat super encouraging and super motivating. And even the smallest thing of like, oh, I'm so sorry, I have X, Y, Z going on, blah, blah, blah. It just trickles. And so just know that we're trying to trickle that out. And so just message that person privately if there's something going on or whatever. Um, and then share your goals in the chat. I mean, we have 11 days, y'all. This We're getting up to magic week. We're not even close. Like we still have a long time. We have 11 days, like that's huge. Um, so know that your dreams and goals can happen. It's up to you. Yes, Hannah. Do, are your bubbles popping in accurately in a tiny manner or not? I love you, Hannah. I haven't looked at my bubbles. Ask me, Howard. I know, I know. Hang on, let me look at my bubbles. I'm looking at my like, so for instance, if you guys haven't done the power hour from yesterday, I, I'm telling you it was gold. Do that power hour from yesterday. I shared it in the chat, go back, redo it because I've been working on that. Like, oh my gosh, the dogs. Sorry, um, if you can hear me but i've been doing like subscriptions who's about to process that's under 100 pv because we can help them with the sample or help them with getting hydrate things like that that i haven't looked at my bubbles i'm sorry i know i should look at my bubbles but um i've been focused at, go ahead you can look at them later and let me know because okay you know that my motive is to pop the bubbles and when they're not popping it's a little annoying i know <laughs> hopefully they will it's okay by the end of the night. Um, and then if you guys, so I, I want to create, um, I, I shared how many people, how many of us have added people. And so make sure that you're sharing gra your, the graphics for your people. And then I'm going to try to get my people's graphics, hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow, um, up because those little things really make a difference when people add people and, and whatever. So shout them out. I mean, one of my girls that used to work the business and she won't watch this. I love her. She won't go watch this for a long time, but anyway, Kasha, I'm going to shout her out because holy smokes, the girl has not worked in a year and a half and she's added three people because of the reset. So do not think if you have been doing this for as long as I have, that somebody has fallen off and they won't do it again. You never know if you're going to have a Kasha pop back up and be like, oh, I added three people. Yeah, I just say, you know, people saw my reset stuff and they love it. People are coming back out of the grave right now on this reset because of your results. They're connecting to your why. They're connecting to what you are sharing with them. So keep doing that. And um, you never know, you might have a share or a Kasha pop up. So Hannah, do you have something else? Nope. Oh, okay. Um, so keep, um, yeah, you know the things. Okay, do y'all have any questions? Okay. I am so proud of you guys. Like for real, all your cameras on, you guys are runners, you guys are here. And it's because you are dedicated to move to that next rank. You are dedicated to those dreams and those goals, or you wouldn't be on here. Like, let's be honest. You wouldn't be on here. You wouldn't be having an hour and one minute with me on a Tuesday night. So congrats. I love you guys. Let's go pop some bubbles. I'm going to go shut some dog's mouths. And then I'm going to calculate how many 
orders that I need to hit my goal, calculate your orders, figure out, look at your subscription, see who's about to go through that isn't hundred PV, look at your plexus perks. Like that's how you move the needle is you're, you're really having that awesome, awesome customer care. I know for my level ones, and I, I shared this, I know I have so much to say, I'm trying to hurry. Joanna um, shared customer care and I shared that video. I'm starting to share samples with every single brand new person. So they're trying something new so that if they ever, like they're adding more to their stuff. So start sending a sample if you can. A sample doesn't cost hardly anything. You're $5, right? So pretty much you're building business bonuses that you're getting. You're sharing a new sample and you're adding more and better customer care to your people. So think of what you could do for that. And so I'm going through all of my level ones and I'm looking at, okay, who could grab a sample? Who can I send a sample to? Who can I love a little bit extra this month? And maybe they can, be, they can come back. Go ahead, go ahead, Hannah. Sending the sample through the Engage app or how are you sending your sample? I'm going to do a hand the snail right mail way. The snail mail way. I mean, okay. y'all can totally don't do not get me wrong. It is. I am not a post office. It, post office is my absolute hated thing. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. Um, but I will tell you, remember when you get a handwritten note, how much more impactful that is. Right. I know it takes 20, 20 extra seconds or 20 more minutes. I get it. The Engage app is wonderful. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some that will probably get an Engage app one that I just am like, okay, she's like not somebody I really want to extra love on. No, it sounds horrible, but, and she might get an Engage app one or she might get whatever, but, you know, Cindy is going to get an actual sample with a handwritten note with my name on it. Like, you're going to know, you're going to gauge those people. Um, but I'm doing that. And then I'm also um, doing coupon codes for anybody that wants to be resurrected or wants to try the reset. And I'm just saying, hey, I just wanted to check in, see how you're doing. And, you know, I know back then, you know, you were ready and excited and you trusted me. I don't know if anything's changed and you might be ready to come back. But if you do, I have a coupon code for you. Would you, would you like to uh, redeem that? Like it's super simple like that. If somebody's fallen off, it doesn't mean they can't come back. It just means you have to keep tapping. Um, and it sounds like my dogs are chewing something. So I'm going to, I'm going to end at that. Okay. I love you guys. I'm glad that you showed up. Please, please be proud of you. Like you just took an hour and a half hour and four minutes to be on here. Love you guys. Bye.